Hey, hey, hey. I know, kind of weird title for me. It feels super awkward and uncomfortable to put any kind of financials in my videos or really talk about it in general, but this is not clickbait. And if you're here because you wanna make a quick buck overnight, probably don't wanna watch the rest of this video. And actually, I invite you to leave because I'm gonna break down the strategy about how you actually build a real business. And this is the information that I wish someone broke down like this for me when I started my business. So before we dive into our meeting, I wanted to grab a tea, obviously. So come on. It just doesn't feel natural to talk about money sometimes. I wasn't raised to talk about it and it feels tacky and kind of yucky, but I also know it's a reality of entrepreneurship in this day and age. And so, so many people are talking about all the money they're making, six figures, seven figures, X, Y, Z, but they're not talking about how they're making it, how much it costs them to make it, and how they're going to sustain it. So I really feel inspired lately to be super transparent, to alleviate some of the pressure that you feel that you're not getting there fast enough so that you know that this is a long-term plan and something that's going to be very profitable for you once you follow the right Step. So I'm going to show you one of our most profitable methods in this video. It's not like this is a one-off thing. We've actually duplicated this exact same process on pretty much every video we've ever made. So this is the process of how we actually generated $100,000 from one of our YouTube videos. And then you can duplicate that and take it to other videos. But before we get into that and I map it all out for you, I wanted to actually read you um, an email I got last week. So we've done all of this and generated that revenue without ads, paid partnerships, sponsorships of any kind. Absolutely, absolutely nothing against them. It's just not the route that I wanted to take. And I kind of see those things as like a cherry on top, but it's not what's gonna sustain my business and actually bring revenue that I own for products that I've created myself and that I have full control over. So I got an email about a week ago and I get about, I would say between three to five sponsorship offers a week. Um, and unless they're an ideal, absolute wonderful fit that totally aligns with who I am and what I wanna be doing, I generally don't say no, but this one caught my eye because it was a company that I actually love and I would have loved to have done this collab and this sponsorship. So I got an email and basically what the email said was, hey Sunny, we'd love to partner with you. We absolutely love your YouTube channel. Could you make 2K work for a sponsored YouTube video. We only ask that the unboxing is a minimum of four minutes long, let me know. So again, this is a company that I love and would have loved to have worked with. I'm not gonna say the name, obviously. Um, but I wrote back and said, you know what? I actually don't do unboxings on my channel. It's not really the type of content I do. I do content for entrepreneurs, more educational and storytelling kind of content. And I wrote back and said, what if I did a storytelling video around your brand? Uh, and they basically said, no, that doesn't work for us. So here's the thing, and here's what I really want you to think about if you actually want to build a business that doesn't rely on getting sponsorships from anyone else, because that's truly, it's a waiting game until you get to enough clout where people just want to hand you money um, to mention their brands. So. I have generated $100,000 from one YouTube video, and that's a process that we've duplicated over and over again. Or, so I have my own product that's making as much money as I want, there's really no ceiling because we have a strategy around it, or I take a sponsorship deal for $2,000 for a video that is not aligned with my brand, you guys would be like, what the F are you doing, doing an unboxing video on a product that isn't really related to entrepreneurs, and it just didn't feel like the right fit for me unless I could do it in my own way. So I turned down that $2,000 offer because that's one off. That's a one off $2,000 deal. Whereas you can create a business that actually brings in revenue for you for years to come, which is what I'm gonna map out for you. So if you're excited, give me a like below and let me know that you're super excited to learn this strategy and we're gonna map it out. So how are we gonna map this out? Well, even if you're sitting there thinking, but I don't have something of my own to sell right now, that's okay, because I'm actually gonna talk about that in my next video. Um, but you're, you're still gonna wanna understand this concept because it's really not as difficult as you might think. So if I'm gonna map all of this out, we are gonna actually work backwards. So the first thing you need is obviously a core offering. This is the most important thing because this is whatever you own, you've created. Um, and for me, in this instance, it is a digital product, it's an online course. So that is YouTube for Bosses. So we have YouTube for Bosses. The 
thing that needs to lead into YouTube for Bosses is we have to have an audience. So the audience would be here. And this audience can come from things like their YouTube channels, commenting, um, interacting with people on YouTube channels with a similar target audience to you, being on podcasts, having your own podcast. You have to build a platform for yourself some way, somehow. So in my experience, the most profitable way to build an audience and the fastest way to build an audience has been through YouTube because people are looking for you and your expertise every single day and YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, owned by the first largest search engine in the world. So um, audience, you can build that out, say if you use something like YouTube. You can also use things like podcasts or other social media channels. I just know in my experience this has worked the best. So you have your audience and you need to create targeted content. So targeted content comes before audience. In order to actually create an audience, you have to have content. Now, do you have to worry about crazy high production value? Absolutely not. When I got started, I had a window and a webcam, and those videos have generated millions and millions of views for me and millions and millions of leads. So creating targeted content is figuring out what your audience, let's put this in. We'll start there. Figuring out what your audience wants. What do they want? What do they need? What are their biggest pain points? What are they struggling with around what you can fix? So whatever they're struggling with the most, you need to create content around how they can actually fix it and come from an expert point of view because you are the only person in the world who can answer that in your own unique way for them. So that's what I started doing. My audience, as I started to grow, was looking for information on how they could build their businesses leveraging social media. So what I did, was I started making content that would actually do them, do that for them. So answer those questions. So the targeted content piece is the most important part of building an audience that's actually targeted and profitable that out will actually buy your core offering. Now, your audience size doesn't need to be big. I have clients that have less than 3,000 subscribers but have generated over $100,000 in under five months following the strategy. I have another client that generated over a million in under six weeks following the strategy. So. Your audience doesn't have to be massive. That person only had uh, 1,700 subscribers. So you don't need to have hundreds of thousands of people. You need to have a really targeted audience and you create targeted content to get that targeted audience. Okay, so that's how that works. Now, most importantly, you have to figure out how you're gonna generate leads before you start creating content. So we have to go lead generation. This needs to be figured out before you start creating content. And I speak for my own mistake here because I have a video with millions of views on it, super targeted piece of content, and I had nowhere to send people after they watched it, so they watched the video and forgot who I was and what I did. But if you can take people from your content and get them into your email list, a private Facebook group, or onto your other social platforms even, but your most profitable places to send them are your email list, for sure, and your Facebook group. Email list being the number one priority. So you have to figure out how you're going to actually attract people into your community and continue to nurture those relationships. So lead generation can be things, like I said, creating a private Facebook group that's super targeted around what you wanna sell eventually. Um, so for me, I have a group that's all around YouTube scaling, so leveraging YouTube to build up your lead generation. So you can use that, obviously. Your email list, because you're going to be nurturing them with free content every week, which continues to position you as the expert. And then also on your website, if you have any sort of pixel set up on your website, Facebook pixel, YouTube pixel, then you can retarget people who visit your website with Facebook ads or YouTube ads or whatever else. So lead generation is really important because you want to continue to keep people in your space. So you either are going to generate leads by sending people to your email list through opt-ins, email list, opt-ins, Facebook group, or you're going to just send them to your website. But you have to pixel them, and that is more of an advanced strategy. So in the beginning, this is always what I recommend. Get people on your email list. So create things like guides and checklists and, and whatever it is that's complimentary to your video that people can download and then learn even more from you, and that gets them on your list to continue to nurture that relationship. Then from there, you have to build relationships, right? So we have to figure out the lead generation, then we need to create targeted content that gets them onto our email list, Facebook group or website. We obviously have to have an audience in order to do that, and we have to have the core offering that this all leads into. 
So the final piece of this is relationship building because people don't buy from people or corporations that they don't trust, know, and like, or know, like, and trust. Um, so what we want to do is make sure that you're constantly building relationships and how you build relationships is pretty simple. You continue to send weekly emails. So I send one email a week, which you probably got this morning, um, with my new free content about topics that you care about. So you nurture your list by continuing to sending, sending them content on a consistent basis, even if it's once a week. And you can continue to send them emails and offers and all of those kinds of things. But the biggest thing is you can also redistribute your content, this targeted content, across all your platforms. If you haven't watched my video on content creation hacks, make sure you check that out because I talk about how you can take one piece of content, say a YouTube video, and put that everywhere else. And that's gonna tell your Instagram audience, your Twitter audience, your Facebook audience, what you're the expert in as well. So it drives all of those people from all of those platforms back onto your lead list, which are your most optimized or hot leads and buyers. So that's what I really want you to understand. As soon as you have this process down, then you just continue to nurture the relationships through emails. You can do this automated. Um, and you can also do it through your Facebook group by continuing to interact with people. And most importantly, through your content that you're already gonna be developing, that helps you nurture relationships. It's not about what you're selling the content, it's about positioning you as the expert for what you're ultimately going to be selling. So people go, you're the YouTube girl, or you're the Instagram girl, or you're the video lead generation person. And that's what you become known for. If you go too broad, people will not care and not really want to work with you for anything specific. And that's really hard to create a profitable business around. Every single big name in this industry have, has some sort of offer that is fueling the fact that they have a personal brand around them. So this whole business is what allows me to hire people to help me create content, to have an entire team behind me to build an actual real business. And it all comes from this and our tiered offerings. So you go from figuring out how to generate leads, creating targeted content for those leads, delivering it to your audience through whatever platform you choose, say it's YouTube, YouTube is gonna to continue to build traffic for you on a daily basis, and then that traffic gets funneled into your core offering. And that's really how we did it. So for an example, we have a video on how to get more views on YouTube. You watch that video. That video has a lead magnet attached to it for how to go from zero to 100,000 subscribers in a year. People then become part of our email list. Once they become part of the email list, they get continued targeted content to nurture them and position me as the expert. And that builds up our audience. So these two things together build up our audience and then they get pitched on our core offering. So this is what the entire map looks like and you duplicate the system over and over and over again and you're going to start generating leads. Now why this is so profitable is because we're not spending any money to generate profit from this. Whereas we run Facebook ads, we're spending money in order to make money, which is fine and it's awesome and it helps scale. But in the beginning, if you have an offering and you have all these pieces in place, you can just start making profit. So in order to generate $100,000, we had to sell 167 units of this times 597, which is the price point, equals $100,000. That's how you do it. How are you feeling? I know that was a lot, but this is how it works. And actually when you break it down, it's pretty simple. So comment with boss if you are excited about this and you feel like this was a refreshing take on what an online business actually looks like. Um, so this is you know, how we did this for one video, but we've duplicated this process. And what I wanted to say is if you aren't fully understanding how this process works, you can actually go through it in real time. There's a link below this video to bossyoutubestrategy.com. Click on that. Once you sign up, you'll be taken through the whole process that I just mentioned to you. So you'll be able to see how this unfolds. And like I said before, this doesn't just work for me. Um, it actually has worked for, for my clients that I work with and for one of my clients who didn't even have a business a year ago. She worked in a nine to five and she basically has done this exact process, built up her YouTube channel, built up her leads, created her first product offering, did her first ever launch a couple weeks ago that we assisted with. And she did a webinar that generated $40,000 in one hour and it turned into a $60,000 launch. 
all from her YouTube traffic and lead generation strategy, which I just mapped out for you. And before I forget, congrats to our Boss Club winner, Lydia Walker. Thank you so much for commenting on my last video. The whole team loves you and appreciates you. Um, if you want to enter to win a shout out in one of my videos, or if you want some BYO Boss swag, all you gotta do is comment with Boss Club below. Congrats, Lydia smash that like button below and be sure to share this with anybody who would find it valuable. Next week, I'm going to dive into my exact business model and actually break down my business and how I've gone from zero to where we are now in the business and how I've built out all the different pieces. So I can't wait to share that one with you. Subscribe for that video and new videos every single week on how to be your own boss and build your own life. I will see you in the next video.